Mijn naam is Hans Lambeau, ik ben hoofdredacteur van Database Magazine. En voor dit interview op BI Platform is mijn gast Dan Lindstedt bekend geworden van de Datafold architectuur voor data warehouses. Welkom Dan. Dan, could you tell us how you started working on the Datafold and how it changed your life? <laughs> Sure. Um, in 1990, I started working with Data Vault structures. And in 1990, I didn't call it the Data Vault. I actually called it Common Foundational Warehouse Model Architecture. But of course, that name just doesn't sell. Um, so prior to uh, September 11th uh, in the United States, I was the only one on the web with the term Data Vault. And after that, somebody in Oracle caught wind of the term and decided that it was a great term to use for security. Mm -hmm. So since then, everybody has attached it to security and backup and a number of other things that it really isn't. At least the way I define it, it's not. Um, from 1990 to 1995, I spent a lot of time refining the structures, refining the architecture, trying to figure out what would make it usable, what all the problems were. Um, and I was working in large systems and government systems and classified areas at the time. So we had a lot of problems to solve that star schemas didn't solve and that third normal form as a warehouse didn't solve. So I worked with a hybrid of those two architectures and then quickly discovered that hybridization comes with cost and limitations. And so I built or re-architected or redesigned the way the table structures worked using some of the best practices from both of those paradigms. And by 1995, I actually had a working model that of course got refined again through 1995 to 1997 and then finally stabilized in 97. Uh, so as of 97, the architecture itself for the data vault has not changed which is a testament to architecture. Uh, architecture that can stand the test of time is something, and be applied in any situation, is something that I feel is valuable. Mm. In 2000, I decided that prior to writing my first article that I would take it to a number of experts in the industry. So I took it to Stephen Brobst and Clive Finkelstein, and I took it to uh, uh, Len Silverstone, and I took it to Bill Inman, and I took it to Kent Graziano, and I took it to a number of other people, and I asked for their opinion. I said, either I've got something here, or I've wasted 10 years of my life, and I don't <laughs> want to publish it for the public. And, uh, well, no one told me that I've wasted 10 years of my life. So I decided in 2001 I would write the first article on uh, the Data Admin Newsletter. And I'd known Bob Siner for a long time, who mm -hmm. runs TDAN. So he put it out, and then he told me that the web metrics were off the charts, and he didn't understand why, um, and that it seemed like the readers would like a second article. So then I wrote the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. So those, that's, that's kind of how I got started in the data vault. Um, the biggest reasons why I built it were because of the issues with scalability, and flexibility of the design in the government space. And um, the government obviously was collecting uh, real-time data sets, we'll call it weather satellite data. And uh, so we had issues with data over time, both batch and real-time converging on the warehouse and causing all kinds of problems. And if you remember back in 1995, not too many systems were sitting at the 45 or 50 terabyte level at mm -hmm. that time. Right. So, uh, we were dealing with lots of different problems. Uh, have you got a, a patent on, on Data Vault? No, no. <laughs> One of my ex companies from a long time ago tried to get a patent on the Data Vault. And if you look at the USPTO site, you will see that the patent is denied. Um, I went up against IBM as far as mm -hmm. the patent goes, and uh, the patent was denied. And I'm, I'm kind of pleased about that because in reality, having a patent on an architecture doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Third normal form is not patented. Star scheme is not patented. So why should Data Vault be patented? Um, you know, the Data Vault is basically built off of ideas from people who come before me and certainly will evolve from someone or more than one person who come after me. So 
you know, uh, you shouldn't have to pay for data vaults when you don't pay for third normal form or star schemas either. Are you lucky with the name? Uh, sometimes. I mean, I, you know, I, the data vault name is both a curse and a blessing. On the one hand, people who've never know what a data vault data warehouse is, and I call this now data vault modeling and data vault methodology, just to be clear. Um, uh, but I get mileage out of Oracle's marketing dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they stole my name. Uh, some would argue that I stole theirs. I don't know who no. came first. I, I just know from web search that I was the only one out there. But uh, regardless, you know, uh, I get mileage out of the marketing and uh, I get exposure to people who don't know what a data vault model, but who know what data warehousing is. Um, on the other hand, I have to constantly answer the question as I just did as to what's different about this and why it's not a security device. 